Howdy y'all. As always, it's your friend and mine round the wheel and you are watching Tribes 2, The Lemmings. And today we are going to finish the Shadow Tribe because there's only two levels left of it. And the first of those two levels is going to be Spinny Thang, which trails off into the middle distance. We've got uh, lots of Twisters and Blue Pourers, only a few Ropers. The Ropers seem to be the only sure thing here, so let's hit it. Let's see what awaits us in the in the Spinny Thang level. I, given that it's called Spinny Thang, I bet the Twisters are going to play into it. That's That may be the main thing we've got here. So let's see. Okay, we've got... Ooh, this is... This is some kind of arrangement. Oh, we are way up above the rooftops for this one. Well, isn't this an interesting little how do you do? Okay, let's see what happens. The, the only, well, no, yeah, we're being forced into a situation where we have to use the twister. And, uh, okay, let's see where that gets us. Why don't we? Uh, we don't want to go down there at all, so we're going to want to spin for sure. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got going here. We're going to spin downward. Is that a thing we can do? It sure is. All right. Maybe we want to get the lemmings going. Maybe we want to get the lemmings in the hole first before we do anything too rash. Uh, let's see now. So we've got a whole thing here. I think what we might want to do, let's see. I think that guy is still, s still spinning away. Yep. Oh gosh. Ooh, that is a, that is not something I really want to, Okay, I don't want to, yeah, we want to, we want to be careful. We want to let all the lemmings out first so that they're not walking into a splatter distance hole. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, now they're getting stunned. Yeah, we want to be very careful about that. So, let's see. Okay, now that, now that we're, now that we've got a hole going here, it gives us a little bit of time to plan our approach to this part. We're going to be doing a lot of laser blasting. And it would seem a lot of blue pouring as well. So let's see, kind of, kind of roping up to a nice, convenient spot. How are we gonna get them up? We're we gonna just okay. All right, let's see here. All right, get that going that that away. All right, gotta go underneath the steel, but not too far. Okay, there we go. All right, so this is gonna require, oh, oops, I twisted right into the steel. That's no good, but it does look like we have something nice going here. All right, okay. Looks like I have avoided the steel. Okay, and I think I made a bit of a mess there. Okay, so as long as everybody gets up into the thing, it looks like it might be fine. Uh, okay. And if I can go, okay, if I can laser blast from like roughly here, I have a few, yeah, a few laser blasts will help me out here. Okay, so I think I have the thrust of the level down. This one should not be too difficult, assuming that twisting doesn't prove to be uh, disgustingly difficult as well, with the twister being very finicky when you're trying to go upward. Uh, so let's... Let's try not to angle it so hard here at the beginning. Oh, oh, got a good, got a good little berth going there. Uh, that might actually, okay, this will be a little bit tough right here, maybe. Uh, just go up. Let's just force him up. Okay, there we go. That's awesome. I love what we've done here today. We've done some good, hard, strong work. Okay, now I'm gonna make a little. Now I'm gonna do kind of. Okay, we're gonna do a bit of creative laser blasting here. I think I've made a thin wall, but you know, this is why we get two, this is why we get two, uh, let's see. There we go, that's kind of what I wanted. Um, we're gonna be going, I think I can rope across. As long as I do this correctly, I can rope across here and then up to here, okay. Okay, I think I've got it. I think I've got it. As long as I make this clean. Okay, yeah. Just a few more few more little shaves here is what we want. Oh no, I wanted my left crosser. Okay, maybe maybe still Oh yeah, that's uh 
That's some hard work you're doing there for a whole lot of nothing. Okay, so what I kind of want to do, what I'm kind of aiming for here is to do not intersect, please. There we go. All right, perfect. Okay, so now we can probably get our ropers in action here. Uh, not while we're laser blasting, though. There is still a bit of thin passage here. Up through there. Yeah. So from here to here should get it. Okay, and I've got, okay, I've got plenty of time left on the clock. That's good. Okay, okay, so I think this one is going to be solved in pretty short order. All right, we're just going to give ourselves some room there to work with. And then we will fire up into this little nook right here. And that should do it. I think that will seal the deal today. As long as I don't miss this. Okay, good. Of course I didn't. Okay, good. I just barely made that step. Steppable. Very good. And now we assure ourselves of a safe exit. Yippee. Yes, there it is. Okay. Not such a bad level. And the twister, they were very generous with the twisters, as they knew they probably had to be with that one. Because, you know, when you... When you're going up with the twister, I see when you're go trying to make an incline with the twister, you've really got to commit to it. Otherwise, it just kind of peters out. He hops up a little, and then, yeah, and then you mess up. And then there we go. We've done it. We've 60 lemmings and only one more level in the Shadow Tribe. So uh, Shadow Tribe has been pretty easy. That The one level with all the balloons was pretty weird. But uh, this is definitely, I would say, been the easiest tribe so far. Let's see if the last level provides us the kind of challenge we've come to expect from final levels, however. Moon swings. Six minutes to uh, to have one lemming go ahead and do everything because we have an attractor, so obviously that's going to come into play. The super limb is usually a thing that gets used. Okay, yeah, so we have a very limited task load here, which means we're definitely going to be using specific things in specific places. So let's see. Oh, the specific places will go with the Shad O. Oh, hey, well, we know right at the front that, uh, okay, I can see right at the front that, uh, obviously, uh, glue pouring going to be a thing right out of the gate. Are we going to be coming down through, let's see, would it be, we only have one stomper, so it wouldn't be prudent to try to fudge our way through here. So yeah, we're going to be going a long way around here. I'm thinking right now, uh, maybe glue pouring across the water as well. Okay, so let's just see how it works. Let's, let's see what we got here. That's going to go across and people are going to get stomped. So what kind of glue, and the glue just goes into the water as well. Okay, so glue pouring completely useless in instances maybe this is what we have the three builder or four builders we've got four builders here maybe that's what we have this kind of thing for we have a planter what is the planter the planter doesn't reach super far i know uh probably okay probably a builder over this gap and probably a builder over this one as well so okay at least two builders in use um, let's see. Glue isn't going to really do much for us here. Let's see what the planter does again. Have, I've only used that once for like a little thing. Yeah, it just makes a teeny tiny kind of... That, it just covers a little bit of gap. So maybe like right here would be a good place for the... Yeah, I'm thinking three builders, but then how do we get across the water? Um, oh, we have a fourth... Okay, yeah. We would have a fourth builder that we build across the glue gap with. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, I think I'm seeing it. Okay, so one, two, well, one, two, three. Um, oh, I think I see maybe a solution to the... Uh, glue might also be a good solution right here, depending on how many we have to use. I think we'll only need one, really, to get across this depending on where we start building and depending on whether these tiny little balls right here are an obstacle that we have to jump over so yeah we have some we have some things to work out here uh okay all right so what we got going here is we're gonna have to build over this and oh god the attractor okay yeah so he's going to get he's going to build he's gonna hit his head he's gonna turn around then 
Oh, that's a problem. He's gonna start jumping. Ooh, yeah. Okay, maybe we need super limbing to cut through the cut through the gap here. Um. Okay, yeah, and that's a hop. That's uh, that's not a great hop. And this isn't gonna be a great hop either. Yeah, can't hardly help but get away from that attractor. Okay, the attractor is gonna be a problem for sure. Maybe there's a place where we can strategically dig or stomp. I mean, well, stomping is effectively digging. It just looks different is all. Um, let's see, maybe bump, bump, bump. Yeah, I can only see ourselves glue pouring over this going to here. So where does the stomper come into play? Uh, there's a lot of pieces here that I need to work out. Well, maybe, okay, maybe one thing we can do here is, okay, I'm going to get this going with the attractor. Okay, yeah. Get the attractor going, and then you can start building with it. Okay, yeah. Get him going. That's nice. Okay, and then... Oh, beautiful! Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so now hop, hop him away maybe a little bit. I don't think that's far enough away, but maybe I can get, no, no, that's, and I need to be able to free the, the him at some point. Oh, wow, that was a nice jump. Still, wow, still attracted though. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, well, yeah, golly, those attractors, they can be a real problem sometimes. All right, let's pour down some glue. And then let's do it again. I think it's gonna take two glue pours to cover this surface area entirely. And zhip, beautiful, okay. So now I'm gonna get him away with the super limbing actually is what I'm gonna do here. There we go, beautiful. That should be way far enough away from the attractor. And now we determine if, okay. Now that I've got him away a good distance, now we determine whether this is a background object or not. It is, okay, good, 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 good. That's kind of what I was hoping for. So let's see, let's, um, well, we've only got one glue pour left. That could prove a little bit problematic. Because this looks like, this could be a pretty unsafe fall right here. I have jumpers though. I could I could hop across if need be. That's all right. Uh, yeah. I think I'm seeing it now. Okay. All right. I'm gonna use a I'm gonna use a builder, and then I'm going to how far how far will a glue pour go across the pit here? It'll zoop all the way to oh, gorgeous. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. No. Oh, the falling though. The falling, that's a problem, that's a problem. Okay, so what we do is we set down, our second limbing is an attractor, pretty simple, and then bop to here. Can't be attracted while you're doing tasks, you're too busy, you're thinking about your work, and it's just, you know, it's a it's a whole thing. You gotta, you gotta focus on the task at hand is what you gotta do. But the super limbing, all right. The super limbing is pretty easy. I can even do this without pausing. That's how, that's how uh, simple it gets. All right, yeah, it doesn't get much better than that. Just super limbing right down that hallway. Right down the hallways of the Daily Planet. Okay, so now, there you go. And that pours across. Now all we gotta do is uh, get our jumper right. We gotta get right with our hops. Let's do it. You, oh, Ugh. <laughs> Well, maybe that's why we have the planter to get, uh, to maybe get that far out. Um, no, we still got two builders from there. Well, but getting across this gap at the end, we need something to get across this gap with, and we only have two builders. One builder would do it, but a jumper is not adequate to get across this little pit here. So maybe, maybe what is, maybe let's just take super limbing. Okay, take super limbing over here. And then build up to here. That's two bridges. 
Another glue pour would be... Another another bridge would be four, and then glue pour would be... That would get everybody... Sit, well, no. You would want your uh, glue pour to extend... Well, you would want... Okay, so three bridges make that one kind of big. Okay, I'm thinking out loud a little, but... Uh, okay, let's just skip to, the, to where it looks good. All right, so what we want to do is use super lemming to come over... Come over here. Okay, don't hit the floor just yet. There we go. Just run smack into the wall. And now I need two bridges to get up to here. I'm not confident that I can get the height that I need to step up to here with two bridges. Um, let's use the let's use the ball as a visual marker. Hopefully, hopefully I didn't come from too short a distance away. I think I may have messed this up a little bit. Okay, and then boom, I'm gonna need to stretch this out. And even then, I don't know if I'm making the height. Uh, so I was thinking working backwards might do it. Yeah, no, working backwards doesn't quite cut it because now I'm out of now I'm out of builders. I have the height that I need, but I can't just do a blue pour from here. The whole idea would be. The whole idea would be that I go from here to up here. Yeah, because glue will just go straight into the water. Because it doesn't have a surface to go along. Yeah, that's a problem. So, I was going to, and then, you know, stomp down here, plant her across. But then at this point, I'm out of bridges. So, mm, still having a hard time figuring out how to make it all work together the glue pourers are definitely for this is good right here i like well maybe i could conceivably get this done with one glue pour maybe that would make it a little better if i could ramp up the efficiency on that let's see how that goes okay so let's try just getting as close to it as we can maybe building over that first bit Okay, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, settle down. So, okay. Yeah, let's build over this, first of all. Build over that one. There you go. Get your friends going. He's still building. Okay, so... Do the glue pour from pretty high up. Let's see if we can get this done with one glue. Mmm, not quite. Um, let's see. Yeah, I was hoping for a little better efficiency there. I don't think you want to do the glue too high up either, because I think if he hits hits a roof with his bucket, uh, you're kind of done for in that regard as well. Uh, so two more. This is going to end up right over the water, right? Yeah, and then what good is that? So, well, hold on just a second. Let's go ahead and do all the glue pouring right now. Maybe we can try it that way. Yep. Okay. Okay, color me a little bit interested here. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is... This actually works, I think, maybe a little better than what we had going before. Okay, okay. I kind of like this now. Okay, let's... Okay, we've got kind of a tight... Ah, damn, we're in a tight spot. Okay, so... Okay. Okay, that's, that's good. Get him over there. And then, yes, then I only need two builders right here. And then three, four. Okay, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I have it. Okay. Yeah. Sharp dip down. Hey, whoa. Recovered Recovered from super limbinging pretty fast. That's, that's nice. I always like a quick recovery time. Okay, so let's see what happens now. Two... Bob, let's stretch this out a little. Hopefully two bridges can get this job done. Okay, yeah, I'm liking this a lot. I am very pleased with these results. Okay, I was pleased with these results. Okay, yeah, but we have a planter. We can uh, we can just plant a little plant across the way. We do have we do have that still going, but barely. Okay, maybe if I had come from, like, the very edge, but I was a little scared. I'm going to admit it. It's okay to admit you're scared sometimes. Don't be afraid to admit to being a little bit scared. So, as long as... How far will the plant stretch? 
That's kind of my question. Maybe I should have done this from a little farther. I don't have any builders left. I don't have any builders left. I screwed that up by not doing three right there. Okay, so yeah, I need to make that happen in two for this to work the way I want it. Otherwise, I just have to kind of find a completely different solution. But let's just see. Oh yeah, that doesn't even get close to, no, okay. Not, not even close. So yeah, you need to be down there doing that. And, but it will cover that. So maybe the plant will be best right here. Okay, yeah, you gotta get right close to the edge for that to work, but it does work. And then we're gonna take our stomper a little bit more of a, yeah, there we go. A little bit more of a nicer spot there. It's gonna be a stun gap. Oh uh, yeah, boy, they walk down really quick. Okay, you, when they're walking down an incline, all this is background, we're good to go. All we gotta do is plant a tree in the right place. Let's eat a peach for world peace, everybody. Let's do it, I think we have it. And all we gotta do is jump our, uh, okay, and there we go, nature finds a way. And so we jump and that's it. Ah, yes, everybody is free of the bonds of the, of the sex symbol, the attractor. There we go. All right, so uh, we paint a nice little line across the moon there. I like how that worked out. That was really cool. There was some, there was some real finesse involved in making that work. Yep, the stun is fine. Stun setting is fine. It's just the kill setting that violates the prime directive, of course. And so this should work for everybody else as it worked for the first guy. The first guy had the benefit of being able to go up through the middle of it. There we go. That's the first time I've seen the planter be useful. So there we go. We've done it. We've conquered the shadow tribe with gold. That's all 60 lemmings. And there they go into the TARDIS for one final jaunt across the dimensions. We did it. Hand me that award, Peter Capaldi. Let's do it. Show, show me the chunk. Show it. Show it. Show it. Let's see it. Let's see it. One, two, three, four. And number four. Five. We're almost halfway through the game at this point. There we go. Bless us, God of the scan lines. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for bestowing us with your presence on this wonderful day. So, yeah, it is a wonderful day. We got our fifth medallion chunk, and that's going to do it. So next time, we're going to go spelunking with the cave limbing tribe. It's not just cave exploration. I think they probably actually are like... Neanderthal lemmings, I see a wyvern skeleton here. That's scary. I didn't know lemmings could be so vicious. <laughs>